This is my very own homemade green sauce. Uh, a long time ago I had a friend from Honduras that made um, a chimichurri sauce. First time I ever had it and it was, uh, it was parsley and olive oil and garlic and green onions. And it was all bl chopped up and blended up. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good. But then I, I went home, I decided, well, I could add some uh, jalapenos to that and some cilantro instead of parsley. I'm not a big fan of parsley. Um, and then over the years, uh, I decided to put some lime juice in it. So I have, uh, I'm going to put all this stuff in my food processor and blend it up into a, into a sauce. I have uh, five jalapeno peppers. I have uh, five serrano peppers, a whole head of garlic, uh, two, two uh, bunches of green onion scallions, two bunches of uh, cilantro, and then some, uh, some lime juice, and I also have a can of uh, poblano pepper. I'm going to just throw all that in here, and then I'm going to blend, blend it up and, and, make, and make my green sauce. All right, so everything I just showed you, the, the two bunches of green onions, the two bunches of cilantro, the five jalapenos, the five serrano peppers, and that whole head of garlic, and all that lime juice that I had there, it was all put in this food processor, and it's just going to be, it's just going to be blended down until it's a nice liquid consistency. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is looking good right now. Let's see. You see how that's got a nice consistency to it? And the lime juice made it a little sour. I'm just gonna add a little orange juice to it to sweeten it up a little bit. And it's perfect, just like that. So I'm gonna put a little orange juice in there. Blend it a little bit longer. See that nice consistency to it? That's perfect. I made my fabulous better than chimichurri sauce, and today we're gonna use this to uh, based on our steaks. So I'm going to get some olive oil. I'm going to pour the olive oil in this bowl. There you go. That's a good amount of olive oil. And I'm going to take my chimichurri sauce. Better than chimichurri. I'm sorry. This isn't chimichurri sauce. This is better than chimichurri sauce. I don't know if you remember, but this is, this was uh, five jalapenos, five serrano peppers, two bunches of cilantro, two bunches of uh, green scallions, and an entire head of garlic. So this is just garlicky, herby, spicy. It's got everything in there. It's so good. And I've been making this with my steaks for the longest time, for, for probably since uh, 2004, which now is 2024. 20, so 20 years I've been making this. And I've been making it for a lot of people and everybody loves it. So all I had to do now, I didn't want to have the olive oil in my sauce because when the olive oil gets refrigerated, it gets all thick and buttery. Um, so I put the olive oil in whenever I'm going to do this for the steak. And this is it. This is better than chimichurri sauce. So I got my ribeyes here. I got three big ribeyes. And I'm going to put some of this on my steak. Uh, you could let it sit overnight. Uh, I'm only going to let mine sit for like an hour. Uh, that's good enough. But like if you want more flavor, you could let it marinate overnight. I got my brush. Right here. Alright. Get this paper out of here. Now I got my tray. Alright. So here we go. So I'll throw my steak, my... Uh, Better than chimichurri sauce on top of these ribeyes. Nice healthy portion of it. Spread it around. Get down, buddy. So the only difference is I made my better than chimichurri sauce. You can watch that video. I had already posted it online. And then I add olive oil to it. 
you want to get great uh, crazy you can add some garlic olive oil this is just plain olive oil extra virgin you could add uh, some lemon flavored garlic oil you could add some uh, spicy chili pepper garlic oil you can add any of that stuff uh, but this is just regular olive oil and I'm gonna be cooking this on top let it marinate and then I'm gonna have some and just before I take it off the grill I'm gonna put another help helping a portion like this on top of the grill so that gets gets uh, seared into it on top just before I serve it so there's a nice there's a nice coating of this better than chimichurri um, green sauce on here so there you go I'm just putting this on here and that's it that's the whole deal right there it's got garlic it's got green onions it's got serrano peppers it's got jalapenos it's got a whole head of garlic it's just got so much flavor all right so here we go so I got these all basted on here let this sit for an hour you can let it sit overnight even more flavor I'm gonna grill it up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes off the grill now for the moment Ruth so you see I put that uh, better than chimichurri green sauce this was I had it on there marinating and then just before I saw uh, last flip I put this on top so that it would be nice and cooked and, and melted in there so let's take a look at this oh look how nice that's cooked oh that so looks good oh my goodness my mouth is watering there's the moment of truth right here oh my god mmm this is phenomenal you gotta try it sometime my better than green than chimichurri green sauce you can watch that video get some steaks and then marinate it and put it right on top it's delicious